Okay, some of you have uh, asked what would happen when the power gets shut off to see uh, if this thing would actually hold water and uh, not overflow um, in the event of a power outage. So I figured I would uh, show you this quick and very important test. So uh, here we go. Um, basically, we've got the water, the, the system's running. Everything's nice and balanced. Over here, you can see we've got a good water level right there in the back. It's a little bit low, probably need to add a little bit of water to it. It's been sitting here for a day and a half and it's been evaporation. But essentially, that's uh, where about where it should be. Everything's working, so let's go ahead and simulate a power outage. So here we go. I shut off the power. Okay, you see the overflow continues to go. The uh, the check valve attempts to shut down. Kind of see that there. It's going to bounce around a little bit, and uh, it's going to try to siphon some water up here off the top. The overflow drains itself. And you can see the water level back here has risen to just above the uh, the second uh, inlet from the uh, refugium sump, which will then equal out the two sumps. Come around here to the front. You can see the water levels here. Looks like I've got about uh, about five to, to seven gallons somewhere in that space of reserve within the sumps to so that to prevent overflow. And it'll sit here and drain just a little bit for probably about 15-20 minutes and. Uh, um, even out between the two sumps, and basically I think we're good. So no overflow. So let's go ahead and simulate the uh, the power coming back on. Come here and uh, turn the power on. Okay, the whole system starts back up. So the overflow will be the first to start. Meanwhile, while that's filling, water levels down here will get back to normal. It's already, uh, you may not be able to see it, it's like right about here so far. It's uh, slowly dropping in there. It should get back to about the same level, it'll balance itself back out as it begins. Looks like the overflow's already restarted itself, which is great. Okay, coming back down here, water level is uh, right where it needs to be. It looks like it's uh, holding pretty steady. There it is. Okay, well, maybe dropping just a little bit more. But we're good. We run over here to the front. Water levels have gone back to normal on this side, and the same on this side, which is normal. It's about where it should be, anyways. Okay, so that's it. That's the uh, the power outage test. Uh, no overflows, no disasters, no wet carpets, which is uh, very important. Okay. Thank you.